What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this week's edition of NKU Sports Break. I'm your host, Trey Bowden. Joining us on the show today is NKU men's soccer player, Giannis Bazukis. Thanks for coming on, Gianni. Thanks for having me, man. So, Gianni, where are you from and what drew you to NKU? So, originally, I'm from uh, Wellington, New Zealand. Um, so, originally, I started at Marshall University in West Virginia. And um, obviously, we played NKU throughout the fall. And um, I was lucky enough to, to play against NKU and score and win. And I guess after that, I kind of knew that Stu had a good relationship with a few other Kiwi players. And obviously, I wanted to kind of, you know, play a bit more and, you know, gain different experiences. So I decided to, you know, get in contact with him and I went from there. So you started at Mar Marshall and then you transferred to NKU. What was that recruiting process like? Um, to, be, to be honest, it was pretty straightforward. I guess we kind of just got on the transfer portal. Um, I got a few emails and, you know, Stu was one of those and he kind of hit me up and just explained, you know, what he thought, you know, I would be in, in terms of helping him out and helping the program out and what he looked, looked for and, you know, what he liked about me. I guess, you know, I came in on a visit and I really liked the school and we went from there. Absolutely. And, you know, you've been at NKU for two years now. How has the school and the program changed you individually? I think it's changed me a lot, I guess. You know, coming in, I was still quite new and everyone else had already gelled together. But, you know, the boys, um, you know, they invited me right in. They, you know, I felt right at home and, you know, the school's very very open and very willing to help you in terms of both academics and, you know, with soccer. So I guess I've, you know, I had the, had the ground running and it was no looking back really. What's your favorite part about being on the team? I guess just the, the camaraderie, you know, the boys just, you know, we always have a good, good vibe, you know, either in the changing room or on the field. Um, you know, we all get along, there's no issues. You know, we're just a brotherhood really. Yeah, I can say the same for myself and my teammates. Uh, it's an unbreakable bond with your brothers. It's great. So right now, obviously with COVID, there isn't a fall season, but there is going to be a spring season. What are you doing to prepare yourself for the upcoming spring season? Um, so I'm, I'm, I've been lucky enough to stay at home and stay in New Zealand and we're somewhat COVID free. Um, so I've been able to play, you know, a full full season here with my club back home, and um, I'm lucky enough to, you know, train with a few teams over the su over the summer here. So I'm, you know, I'm able to just continue, you know, growing my fitness and growing my game, I guess, without any interruptions. That's awesome. That's awesome. Being able to play games and, you know, doing all that kind of training, even though you are away. But uh, excited. I'm sure you're as excited as I am to come back and start competing again. Sure, 100%. So I have to ask you this question. Between Ronaldo and Messi, who are you taking? I'm Ronaldo all day. I guess it depends on kind of the person that you are, but I feel like me being a goal scorer and, you know, the kind of goals that Ronaldo scores and the attributes that he has, I guess you can't really, I mean, you can't, you can, you can't compare, I guess it's hard to compare because they're both so amazing, but right. personal preference for me is Ronaldo. Gotcha. I, honestly, I feel the same way. I love Ronaldo. Love him. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite soccer celebration? Whew, that's a good one. I, I like mean, Mbappe. It, it, I like, what were you going to say? I like Mbappe, you know, where he goes like that and he comes with the arms folded. Yeah. Um, obviously, Ronaldo's a Suze. It's, um, it's what about the airplane, one. man? What about the airplane? <laughs> Here we go. Nah, not necessarily the airplane or even just the you know the jump in the air yeah um, yeah i don't have a i don't have a signature celebration yet so i might have to look that up yeah you gotta get yourself one exactly so you've been at nku for two years now and you know you're going to be graduating uh, next year right yeah what are your plans after graduation um i guess it depends on you know my seasons and how we go but Obviously, I want to try further my football career as long as I possibly can and try you know, earn as much money from that. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a great passport so I can go to Europe and kind of be a local player. So that might be an option or potentially stay in the US or I just want to 
you know, go somewhere different, try and make a living and just go from there, really. Absolutely. Well, that all sounds great. Gianni, I can't wait to see you uh, kill it this spring for the soccer team. That does it for this week's edition of NKU Sports Break. We'll see you next time.